Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls. And welcome to this a brand new day. Ah, not just a brand new day. I had to go down to my bathroom downstairs. And when I came up, there was a little dust mop on this side of his little, little home. And so I picked up little dust mop and I put him in my pocket and I quickly got ready and now I've started my vlogging with a little hamster in my pocket running around on my chest and he is an absolute cutie. I'm going to bring him up so you can see him. Mama Amagarazu did have a point, little Godzilla Ray mused as he drifted through the thin film separating the universes. He couldn't stop thinking about his slower thinking siblings and how they adored him, how he could talk them into anything. He hadn't expected Beta Nera to almost die in the wild Taurus, and Mama Amagarazu's anger at him hurt worse than anything he had ever before encountered. She was right. It was time to grow up and realize his responsibilities. Because as you can see, I've trimmed off his, his, a lot of his outer skirt. Because it was just catching in everything. And he was just having to, it was dragging along half of his, his bedding with him everywhere he went. Oh, little guy. So he is an absolute cutie. And he's still fluffy as all get out. It's just, I have to keep him from getting too fluffy. Otherwise, the bedding just, he drags around half of his nest. So, he is an absolute sweetheart. He still gets bedding in his fur. <laughs> life is life. But he's a sweetheart, very well behaved. He is an absolute cutie. So, I want to re reward his trust, and I'm gonna put him back in his cage, his home, so that he can eat and do whatever the heck it is he's, he's going to do. So, I'm a little guy. Thank you so very, very much. You are a sweetheart. Yay! He's a good little guy. Now he's going to run around and chew on things because uh, he's irate. I picked him up. But now he's back and he can get rid of his aggression by chewing on cardboard. Make sure I'm moderately centered. Moderately centered. Oh boy, has it been raining. It has been raining and raining and raining for days. Now, in Olympia, they have this great big park right close to where I used to live in Olympia. I used to live in the Black Lake Apartments which is right, there is like exit 104 on Interstate 5 going, you know, north and south. And you come off on that exit and there's the Black Lake area in Olympia. And there were apartments there. We used to live there. Try to remember what the heck I was talking about. Yes, the great big old park they had there called Yager Park. The times that we lived there, it would rain and the whole park filled up. I mean, it was like 15 to 20 feet worth of water and the park was gone it was yager lake well close to where i live here when i go out of downtown shelton on olympic highway north south yeah south coming into southern shelton and then you walk north up there and then it goes up through town but there's a little park really close when you come down actually into shelton real close to where the bowling alley used to be and now they've just turned into a big grassy field i guess it belongs to the athletic club that's there but right next to that there's the park it's closed off when i went walking yesterday or the day before my time sense is all messed up usually by the time i hit noon morning feels like yesterday and by the time i hit the afternoon the morning time feels like days and days ago so i have no real idea on a time sense but whether it was yesterday afternoon or the day prior but when i walked down past the park the whole thing closed off with the construction sawhorse things and yellow tape because the park is like this far underwater and that's the first time i've seen it happen now i i'm sure it's happened a lot and it's just i haven't seen it because I don't go walking through or past the park all the time. But that's the first time I've seen it. And I've lived in town over 12, yeah, about 12 years now. Or more than that. It was like 2000, 
2006 or 2007 when I and my late wife moved to Shelton here. So it's it's been a time. And that's the first time I've seen it just burp, underwater. So thumbs up. And it's still raining now. And because of the thick cloud cover, it's going to be later than usual before it gets light. And that's okay too. I mean light. It's light now because I can sort of see the trees outside through the darkness which means if I went outside it'd be a little brighter thumbs up for that it's a good thing we're not all going to you know die thumbs up for that I mean we are and hopefully later not just like later today but much much later thumbs up for that part of what I wanted to say was I I hope people enjoyed that little neural net thing reading of neural net fiction that I, I popped up last night if you take a look at my videos and you it's not a game video it's not even a, a I mean it's a weird thing video but it's just I type stuff into this one neural network where you give it a little bit of text and you use predictive stuff to type a coherent paragraph and I tried reading that as a story so if you watched it I hope you enjoyed and if you haven't you should check it out and thumbs up for that also I talked I can't remember now if I talked about yes I talked about Werner Vinge yesterday so I got a I got my little list of things off to the side and so ice spiders and metaphor but I wanted to talk for some reason about my, my grandparents because I was thinking about my grandparents for whatever reason. Oh, and I'll tie that in if I can remember with another subject. But because my birth, my genet, you know, genetic father and my mother separated when they, after a year of marriage, and then so my mother was a single young mother, like 20, 21 years old. She had to work to make money, but she was still living with her parents. So her grandparent, her parents, my grandparents, largely raised me until, well, till I was like six or seven? Or, no, it was, it had to, have, I have no idea how old I was. Because I can remember now my grandmother picking me up at like, when in third grade, but that would have been like four, what? I have no idea how old. My memory is a mess because she died when I was very, very young. She was unfortunately, you know, heavy, overweight, obese. Not, I mean, what medically would be morbidly obese, but what you see out in the world is, oh, just another heavy person. Morbidly obese and clinical terms is like if you've got a hundred pounds of extra weight you are morbidly or obese so just technical terms but she was heavy and it had been raining and she fell in the mud while walking broke her leg unfortunately she did not listen to her doctors when you've got a broken leg you need to be active you can't just sit you got to be active when you've got damage in your body because blood pools blood sits you need to stay active or around an injury especially it can coagulate and get blood clots and that's what happened she did not stay active she didn't want to her leg hurt and unfortunately her husband my grandfather he was a firefighter and when the blood clot broke loose in her leg and went into her heart, he did CPR many, many times while they were trying to, while waiting for like the ambulance and everyone else to show up, but he was unable to keep her alive. Even, even as a young kid, I also knew just from listening to people that it was her fault, quote unquote, that she didn't stay active when she should have. So that was unfortunate. And then my grandfather, he died when I was, I was, um, cannot again remember the exact year or when things happened. My memories are very messed up, especially of my youth. But I must have been in middle school or early high school when he ended up dying of the, like bowel cancer of some kind, I think. So. 
make sure to <coughs> hang on to people as long as you can if that's something that you wish because you never know and I regret things I mean there's nothing I could have changed as a kid and it I do I guess it was kind of <coughs> excuse me possibly figuring out and and reconciling with my grandfather because he was the guy that used he didn't communicate with boys well and he communicated with his belt and so I got I got his belt all the time because he didn't know how to deal with boys and as I think I talked about yesterday one of the things that they went and checked on me and had me dragged in and treated me for was hyperactivity as a child so I must have driven him absolutely crazy but still that doesn't mean you just if you just beat someone with a belt and so thumbs up for that don't so, pass that I mean now my no oh, yes that was the other thing that I wanted to talk about. On Facebook, I had been chatting with a person who had my last name, my former last name, my genetic father's last name. Because my last name, before I was adopted by my mother's second husband, was Kirk. And that's as much as I'm going to say for any other names because I don't want to mess anything up for this other person. But... <coughs> I had mentioned that my name used to be Kirk on this one thread line with this one person whose last name was Kirk and they contacted me via Facebook Messenger thing and I've been talking with them because that's my half brother. I had known I had a half brother and possibly other siblings but it's just one sibling. And it's kind of an odd little thing because of the short time that my genetic father and my mother were married and the way that things happened, I and my half-brother are two kids from the same father. My sister is my half-sister because her father is my mother's second husband. So we are two kids of the same mother. And so it's the same stack like this. We got two kids from the same father, two kids from the same mother, but click, they intersect right here, me. So I've got a half brother and a half sister. <laughs> and so we, we spend some time talking and he had been kind of afraid to, to contact me, but I let him know that I was a-okay and fine, and I had been in contact with his mother, you know, and had occasionally talked with my genetic father, even on phone, some years back, so it's not a bad thing. I mean, I, I don't know what happened between him and my mother. I don't know why my genetic father and my mother broke up. I know why my mother and my and her second husband, the guy, he actually adopted me to give me the last name, which I like the last name. It's a fine last name. It's German, so thumbs up on that. But the guy I've mentioned before, He's the only person really on the face of the planet that I was glad to hear when he had died. And not because it was a mercy for him, because it actually was. With his health, he was morbidly obese, he had kidney issues, he had all sorts of health stuff. So for him, it was a, a mercy to finally go. But for me, I was just glad because he was the guy that had sexually abused me as a kid. And it was just... a. It, I could feel the weight lifting off my shoulders when I got the news. Every other person, <coughs> even people I don't like, I have been saddened to hear when they pass. He's the only person I have ever just gone, ah, and felt that the world was now a slightly better place. So, thumbs up for that. But then it was... We were very young, and my mother remarried around age 12. My age 12, not her age 12, when I was 12, so 
she then stayed married to the same guy for the next like 44 years before she died at 74. So it worked out in the end. Thumbs up for that. Past that though, not much is happening. I went a little bit walkies, haven't done a ton of walkies. Double checking on my little topics list. I actually wanted to talk about how German is pronounced and how once you know how to pronounce German, even know a little bit about it, if you can read a word, you know how to pronounce it. It's not like English. English has no rules. But German, once you know how to pronounce stuff, whenever you see a word, you can pronounce it. It might be a huge word. Good Lord. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. It might be a huge word. But if you just break it down into syllables, if you can read it, you can say it because there are no exceptions. Spelling rules and pronunciation rules are the rules. And I appreciate that. And this time I actually have opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. And I am going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. It is 20 to 25 because even though I count American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, and more, I'm amazed and I can remember my name is not Rutherford P. Farquhar. And the P stands for Sylvester. It is silent. I'm not reading the comments right now, just thanking you for having left a comment. <coughs> I am so sorry, I don't know why. I can just feel it clog up real quick, too. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment, and if I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker, we're just not good at that sort of thing. Let me call it my Chrome. And we have Kathy Kitzkat, thumbs up and thank you very much. And SF King Alpha, son of a gun, and thank you. Paladin William, greatly appreciated. Kira, Lennon, Kira Lemongrab, always good to see you in the comments. Definite thumbs up and good for learning a language. It is an excellent thing to do. We have XRV9, thumbs up and thank you. Alex MJ Broken 64 thumbs up and thank you very much. We have Lord Above, greatly appreciated. LX Tensi, thumbs up and thank you. We have Ice Damon, greatly appreciated. The Orc Lord, thumbs up and welcome aboard. Ice Damon, did I already thank you? Uh, let's go with, uh, I mean, still thank you, but Benjamin Miranda, thank you very, very much. Colin Reisner, greatly appreciated. Sebastian Ferris, good to see you in the comments. And Sony, thumbs up and thank you. Kevin Andrade, thank you very, very much. Stephen Blanchard, greatly appreciated. We have Charles Stanton, thumbs up and thank you very much. Jake Trent, greatly appreciated. We have Russian Timing, thumbs up and thank you. Kill Me Now, greatly appreciated. Cloud Boy, thumbs up and thank you. We have Mav Hill, thumbs up. And Peter Chan, double H's, so C-H-H-A-N. And then we have Conspo Lopez, thumbs up and thank you, and congrats on your first semester. And last but not least, Bailey Snyder. Good to see you all in the comments. Thank you so much, each and every one of you, getting me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people, if only in text, but it's all good. Thank you very, very much. Definitely a thumbs up. If you could check out my various links, I have Twitter, Facebook, go find me, patreon.com. If you could donate to my patreon.com, patreon. I got that all mixed up, I'm sorry. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. If you did want to, <laughs> I don't know why I'm suddenly having so much trouble. I started off so confidently too. If you wanted to help me out but didn't want to send money to one of those places, I have a PayPal link down below, that would be very cool. But if you wanted to also help out but not actually send me any money, I did repopulate my Amazon wish list with cat food and hamster food and hamster toys. And I've also got uh, some silly things and not silly things. So if you could check that out, that would be very, very awesome, very cool. Thank you very much. Now do not feel obligated. I don't feel entitled. And if you can cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest, so thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence, definitely a thumbs up. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel <coughs> and hit that bell. That would be very cool, greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are down with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Thumbs up for that. I mean, it's oh, literally only gonna be
be hopefully another 25 years of me scraping around on the face of the planet that'll put me almost 80. I could deal with that many years. I, I'm greedy. I'll take over 100 gladly, but I'll take anything I can get. So thumbs up. I got this video that you're watching now. I got another video that I have to record, no, edit and render. Another one to hopefully record, edit and render. We shall see if I only have two videos. That's fine. I mean, yesterday I had four, so I, I'm due a break, I imagine. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing. Remember, take care of yourself, exercise a bit, eat well, and be a part of the community. It is a definitely a thumbs up.